how can we work with a large number of librarians in many communities, we're right now in over 1,500 communities in Romania, to really begin showing what the, the absolute benefit of computers are once they've met a group of people who have never seen them before. For instance, with agriculture, we, what we did is we piloted with um, the Agency for Payments in, in Agriculture, which is a government agency, and 400 libraries joined a pilot program where Farmers in those communities were able to apply online for their farm subsidies in their public library. It, 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 that's not such a big deal um, when, you, when we first mention it, but it becomes a big deal when we look at what happened. And what had happened is that these farmers no longer had to leave from their small communities, go to the county capital, find out what they needed to do, come back, get everything they needed, and apply. 17,000 farmers last year in this yeah. pilot went to their local public library, applied. What that did is it saved them over 50,000 man days in travel. So they saved 50,000 days that they didn't have to go to the county, counts, uh, county capital, find out what they needed, come back, collect everything, go back, apply, and then come back. And in some cases, go back again to make sure that they could receive the funding. So there was around roughly 50,000 man days in this pilot. They saved 300,000 euros in gasoline. It is win-win. It's win for the government, it's win for the farmers, it's win for the libraries. Absolutely. For they who have stuff. Now put instead of farmers, women. Women. Two million people have migrated to mostly um, Italy and Spain. Last year we were received contact from an NGO in, uh, outside of Milan. And the big problem with the Romanians that are leaving is that it's normally mothers, fathers without their children. So many of the children are being left back in Romania with their grandparents, with no consistent means of communicating with their parents. What we have seen is a rise in Romania in suicide. We've seen a rise in school dropout. We have a group of mothers here that would be interested. We'll help them get on Skype if you could find their kids. If you can go to those communities and bring them. We said, okay, three days a week, four hours in those periods, mothers will be able to meet their children. And that has expanded now to a national program where all around the country we have libraries coupled with people now not only in Italy but also in Spain where they can meet and talk to their kids three times a week. Um, and they're doing it for free and it's you know recreating those bonds and it's helping kids. They actually do homework online. Um, they, you know, so it's, it's, it's impressive.